Now it's over to the healthiest kitchen in New Zealand because Luke Hines is cooking in it and you've got chicken for us this morning. Good morning Brayden and Mel. It is a great day to be here because we're cooking my super tasty turmeric chicken wings. I've been here sharing recipes from my book Healthy Made Easy which is all about you guys feeling confident being back in the kitchen cooking with real food ingredients. We've got our chicken wings, we've got fresh herbs, spices and an abundance of vegetables and I tell you what I think you're going to love this dish. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen and Luke you've got super tasty turmeric chicken wings with coconut cucumber writer. I have to ask though, turmeric seems to very much be the new black at the moment. Is Absolutely. It, is there a reason for all the hype? Is it worth it? Yeah, totally. I mean, it's got heaps of medicinal purposes. So what this does, it's an anti-inflammatory. So inflammation can be caused in the body by a number of different factors, including stress and what we're eating. Now, this is a really fantastic natural way to reduce inflammation in our bodies, which is why I love this recipe so much. So I'm going to crack right into it cool. because we need to get some chicken wings marinating. All right, so I'm going to show you guys one of the most delicious marinades that you can get your hands on. So what we want to do initially is melt down and soften some coconut oil. So I'm seeing a bit of a theme here. Coconut oil features quite a bit. And what are we putting in place of? Just other oils? Or? Yeah, so basically <laughs> coconut oil is very versatile. You can put it in your food or all over your body. You choose. <laughs> sure. I mean, you could be lathering <laughs> yourself up as you cook your dinner in the kitchen. <laughs> all right. So the reason I cook with coconut oil is it's got a really high smoke point. Sure. Meaning we can cook it to high temperatures without it losing its nutritional value which yep. is absolutely fantastic right. and it's packed with really good form of energy called MCT oils medium chain triglycerides which are a form of fat which are readily used by the body as energy so I've got the coconut oil we're going to put the ground turmeric in there we're going to put some cumin ground coriander some chili powder right there nice and hot and then there's a few final ingredients that we're going to put in here which one of them is my absolute favorite to cook with now a lot of people use soy sauce in their mm -hmm. cooking now some sauces out there similar to soy can contain MSG and there's a lot of people who need to avoid soy based products yep. which is why I love these coconut aminos so these are paleo friendly soy free gluten free and they bring out the most delicious flavour. The, the best kind of combination I can tell people is it's like halfway between soy sauce and teriyaki chicken right. type style sauce. So it's serving a similar purpose. Where can we get it? You can get it at all local health food stores. I mean, it's actually not that hard to get. Right. So get out there and um, investigate because I tell you what, once you get your hands on a bottle of this, you are not going to go wrong. I know there's a, a perhaps a preconception that for the most part, eating healthy is more expensive. Is that true? Look, that's a little bit of a killer for me. The reason is it can sometimes deter people from eating healthy if they've got that headspace. Sure. My argument is when you're eating the most nutrient dense foods, you actually don't need to eat as much because you're eating less filler. You're putting less crap in your body, so you don't need as much of it because what you are eating is going to keep you fuller for longer. Right. And there's no reason why you need specialty ingredients. I mean, everyday foods are health foods. Yeah. Yep. So that is the marinade. As you can see, as I stir that together, we're getting beautiful colour and that mm. coconut oil and the coconut aminos are help combining and binding those gorgeous ground spices together. So we're together. looking to, to make sure that, you know, we're not still seeing that bright, bright yellow, I guess, to yeah. know that it's all mixed together. That's exactly right. Now, let's talk about using garlic and ginger in our cooking. We're using some fresh garlic here because we're going to oven bake these turmeric chicken wings. We can afford to keep it nice and chunky because it's going to roast off and soften with that flavour. Now, I also want to show people the alternative to using ground ginger. So this is a knob of ginger. Yep. Okay. What you do is you just break a small portion off and then very carefully with your knife what you want to do is you want to take off any of its skin okay you'll see that that's absolutely perfect and what we'll be left with is a little square just like that it's got a few more edges than a square but forgive so me so it's not that hard when, when it comes to using fresh over, over that's the ground stuff exactly right now when we taste this later today you're absolutely going to love 
what fresh ginger does to a dish like this. So I'm gonna chop this nice and fine, put it into the marinade, and during the break, we are going to get those chicken wings looking fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna do that shortly. We'll come back to that very soon. He's gonna show us how to make the cucumber, uh, coconut cucumber writer as well. Right now though, we need to finish off this chicken, Luke. I see that we've marinated and it's on the tray. We have, we're gonna place this in the oven at a heat of 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes and they're gonna be mouthwateringly delicious. But Brilliant. it's time to get on to our coconut and cucumber writer. So now, what's a writer? A writer is a famous Indian condiment. Now the reason I'm pairing it with this dish is because they are coated in turmeric, which is also a very popular Indian ingredient. Of course. So I'm gonna chop up the cucumber right here, just as such. And what we want is kind of chunky, chunky squares. Yep. Run the knife along that way. And there you go, as easy as that. Look at that. Okay, so that's all we need to do with that. Now I want to show you a little bit of a tip with using coconut cream. Putting your tins of coconut cream in the fridge overnight or for a day upside down yep. will send all of the firm fatty stuff that we want to use to the bottom. Ah. So that when we flip it over, just like this, I'll open this up, you'll see that I can easily scoop out the bit that we want to whip. All right, so I'm right. gonna show you this. See that? Yeah. See how it's set at the top that, of the tin? Honestly, better living, everybody. And then everything at the bottom isn't going to whip. It's a lot runnier. Right. But the firm stuff is what we're wanting to use. So I'll do it with another one. Because I would have just into yep. the bowl and whipped it and probably would have had no joy. Well, that's the thing. When you're using a non-dairy um, substance like this, you really need to focus on the good fats to get that whipping action in. So we've right. got that firm stuff sitting around the top and it looks absolutely perfect. Now that's gonna be plenty for Great. this particular recipe. What we wanna do is a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. Now is this a flavour there. thing or is it, does it aid in, in what we're making? It's all about the flavour. Flavor. Yep. Lemon juice is fantastic. You can pretty much add it to anything and it adds that beautiful vibrance and zing to a dish which we all love. Great. Now that's not all. We have got some paprika, just like so. Got a colour there. And a little bit of cumin. No, I love well. the smell of cumin. Uh, it's one of those ones that I just instantly get. You know, some <laughs> people love the smell of coriander or whatever. Yep. For me, it's cumin. Do you just love it? Yeah, I do. Look, it, not everyone likes it. People, you know, often think that it might smell like other things. Yep. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. We're going to get the mint and also some dill. Yep. And this is how easy it is to make a coconut and cucumber writer. Now, as you can see, we just stir that through. Now, this is really versatile. The other day, I made some turmeric and sweet potato fritters for breakfast. Now, it's simple as you just combine sweet potato with the turmeric and some eggs to bind it. Fry it off in some coconut oil, and I actually had some of this cucumber and coconut writer in the fridge from a previous dinner. And uh -huh. it's such a versatile, type of side or condiment, you know, have you will, that you can serve it with pretty much anything. And it keeps okay in the fridge, I'm guessing. It does. Being yep. that it's coconut cream, it has a really long fridge life, which is fantastic. Right. So it, there's no risk of that going off. So look at that. I'm guessing we can find this in, in the book too. That's exactly right. I guess I've been highlighting recipes from Healthy Made Easy for the past couple of episodes, and it's all about getting you guys confident at home in the kitchen. And if there's any advice I have to anyone at home wanting to take charge of their health, it's to give it a go and prepare that sometimes not everything will go all right, and that's okay, because we have to learn. And the kitchen is all about building that confidence. And if you start mixing it up and maybe each week introducing a new ingredient that you might not always cook with, it's a really fun way to discover mm. different flavours and different techniques. Well, I think you've already taught me a lot, so I'm very much looking forward to trying the writer and the chicken as well. Okay, now it's time for some tasty turmeric chicken wings with coconut and cucumber writer. It is a great name, very much around the alliteration for that. And Luke, how did it all come together? They are looking fantastic, but the proof will be in the pudding. Check this out. We have golden brown colour on top and the coconut cucumber writer, and I think this is perfect a definite family favourite. If you're looking for a dish that's easy to whip up on weeknights, this is the one for you.